Hey guys, Steve Zalonardo. We're doing a question and answer period here with Smart Collective. Fire it off, Chris. If I want to buy real estate, is it more important that I wait for the right time of year to purchase or to just get into the market as soon as I can? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. I think you, you naturally need to, you need to watch the market for sure, but there's no real good timing anymore. Before we used to always say spring, summer is the best time to sell, then there's other times to buy, but ultimately you just gotta follow the market. It's, it doesn't, doesn't run as it used to. So we can have like a super hot period in December, January, and then there's that lull period with say July, August. I mean like last year in COVID, we had an uproar all the way through the summer, then we had a little bit of a slowdown in September, then the October, November picked back up. I think you just get to deal with a professional that knows the market and he'll basically guide you right through it. When's the best time. How do you tell what's going to realistically add um, value? value to the home? Yeah. Like, that's a tough one, right? Like, is it is it anything that you do to your house or is it major things that's going to truly bring it up? XML. Yeah. I mean, renovations, let's say we always got to talk about pre, pre and past COVID because that's a huge, huge influence right now in renovations. Let's say pre COVID, like way before you renovated your kitchen, you did your floors, you did your bathrooms. That was always the big ticket items where you got your return on your investment. The basement was good, but not as important. Okay. Landscaping was important, but not as much as it is today. Before pools were a detriment prior. It was like, oh, you had a pool. That's, you know, that's not going to be good. It's only going to market to half the buyers or less. Okay. So let's go post COVID, like currently in our position now in, in April uh, yeah. of uh, 2021. Renovations need to create different environments in, in, through your house. Huge. Like, it, like for sure, like hardwood is a huge thing. If you do a hardwood floors through your property, you redo the kitchen. There's always, always big ticket items naturally, but adding more space to a house right now is very important if you can add like a workstation area because obviously people are working from home kids are at home now studying or doing homeschooling rather and also create a, create adult experiences let's say you know my basement we created this pub that we're currently in now this is a whole different area after we have dinner dinner we might come down here with yes. with like when we have company we have a few few guys and girls come down here husband and wives will have you know a few drinks or whatever yes. kind of create that experience we have a, a sort of like a theater room and a full gym experience and then i'll have a kitchen and i'll have like a steam shower hour eventually mm -hmm. but this will be this is ideas is for the future of for for resale this is why we did all these different experiences and also backyards like pools were detriments now they're like oh my god you got a pool let's i want to buy it that's the first thing to sell off the market because people are thinking if we ever get locked down again holy shit what are we going to do like if we have a pool in the summer who cares we're going to just hang we're going to lounge by the pool if you see my backyard we have that big pavilion yeah yes. the pavilion i have a tv in there it's like a it's like an outdoor family room basically and those have gone up as well too right the outdoor equipment or, or in our patio patio sets are crazy for now. sure they're capitalizing oh on people right right so i guess investment in in more like create scenes you said or create experiences. experiences yeah so we'll, we can go into my backyard and have, we watch the Formula One race at eight in the morning. I'll even like cook eggs and bacon and stuff out on, on the, uh, kitchen, the outdoor kitchen. And then I'll watch the Formula One race on a, a beautiful sofa. Like it's an actual outdoor sofa, but it's, it's huge with pillows. It feels very comfortable and it's netted. So we can hang out there, you know, all, all the time. Plus there's a dining room section there. So yeah, I think so. If you're going to invest money, obviously go for, do the big ticket items naturally is very important but you can actually do a basement now and capitalize and return on an investment. Hey guys, if you have any questions on where you should invest money in your property, you can always uh, direct message me or leave a comment here on, on YouTube. And that's it. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Ciao.